All right. This is Frederick and I, and we are clueless on what to do for a press conference because we are like internet people. We talk with our fingers. Uh, basically, we have no intention or plans or are currently keeping user data, selling big data, or whatever. We don't track that. Uh, we don't have enough computers to do that. So we're, we're just not doing that. Okay. So there's no reason for a conspiracy. But we can talk about what we are doing now. And it's Fred's turn to talk. So what we are doing now. Well, uh, soft serve just got done. Please buy ads. Uh, they're really fun. I saw a lot of the ads that were put up. Um, some of them were really funny. A lot of people linked to their own boards. You know, it was all cool. Uh, yeah, please buy ads. Right, right, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Buy ads. We need the shiny shekels. Well, in a way, yes. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, I was mostly working, you know, on getting soft serve done. It's true that Race Queen wrote it, as you guys found out. But I was working on, you know, with them. Because, you know, they're Filipino. You can't just tell them, oh, make a soft self-serve ad system. And then we'll come back two months later and it'll be all done exactly how we expected it in our heads two months ago that's not how it works you have to go and supervise them i actually had to write a component of it which you can see on my github python atd i don't, I don't think you care so <laughs> answer me this yes does it track user information and does it sell any big data well of course not uh it uses shopify Shopify doesn't even let you get the credit card information out of it, I'm pretty sure. Correct. Yeah. So there would be no way for us to track using SoftServe. Uh, all the logs that are on SoftServe, we don't even have enough computers to store them. So they're just rotated every 24 hours, just like the regular site. I set all that up. Um, yeah. Okay. So that should end the conspiracy and all of these weirdos that are like posting on my personal image blog? I guess we're doing this because everybody is harassing Jim on his personal image blog. Yes, sir. He's very upset. He likes to post his cooking there and his adventures here in uh, the Philippines. He di he's basically, his life is a real-life Minecraft. You know, he goes out in the jungle and he takes, you know, the cuts down trees and builds some shacks and cuts down some bamboo and builds, you know, a fence. He, like, lives a real-life Minecraft and everybody's messing with his board. You call it a... It's called a Baha'i Kubo. Kubo. It means like a house cube. A house cube? It is really Minecraft style. <laughs> okay. Have you ever played Minecraft, Jim? Uh, my son plays it. I've watched him play. It's fun. Well, guys, if you check out our infinitydev.org, I-N-F-I-N-I-T-Y-D-E-V.org, you can see the current status of the new software. I wrote the capture for it. I'm writing the edit pages for it. I'm writing the trip codes for it. Those aren't done. Uh, what else needs to be done? Let's see, Josh worked on FFmpeg stuff, so videos, and he even made it so you can upload music. I don't know if we're gonna retain that, the uh, 8 channel. That's yeah. a little scary. I don't know if we're gonna retain that feature, but he did make it. It's kinda cool. When you click on like the album art, the thing spins, like the record. Yeah, but, and it has like an 8chan logo on it. You know, Frederick, we had the radio station going for a year and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work and it makes like another site that makes zero dollars. But we, we, we only had like the indie artists and some of them got famous just from our radio and a few of them have signed record deals and everything. Um, if we had a little more volunteer input and could like control it to indie only stuff that because we can't afford to pay royalties because internet radio makes zero money. <laughs> yeah. But it's a great way to, to highlight indie artists. You know, if we could put that back online if we had a few more volunteers to be DJs. Right. I'm, that's Shartnet, right? Well, yeah, but we could change the name too. Because, yeah. You know, we were thinking since Shartnet with a CH was taken, so we made it SH, but then... Some hipster on fucking Reddit said, oh, you know, hipsters don't approve. I said, fuck you, Reddit. 
hipsters don't approve. Got, and, and so I bought a, so I bought an ad on Reddit and I got one fucking click. Oh yeah. <laughs> they you. still okay. They still post the ad that I put on Reddit back in September. And like I no traffic from that. The Reddit ads are a complete waste of money. If I had to choose between a Reddit ad and soft serve, I would buy soft serve. Uh, I'm and I'm not even this, like, yeah. Like pow, thirty thousand impressions and four thousand click throughs. <laughs> And it shows you what country. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're tracking your country, dude. We know. Yeah. So we're. That's oh, part fuck. of the IP. That's just right out of the, out of the yeah. Nijex log. It's out of um the Max Mind thing. It's the same way that HM HM puts. Mind. <laughs> okay. It's the same way that HM puts the flags on posts. You know, if you post on certain boards, it'll put, like when I post, it puts a Filipino flag, and then some American guy will post American flag. Anyway, you have basic stats there that are not, like, uniquealized or... Uniquealized? No. Yeah. They're not, like, individualized for you. So you get those specific ads that you love to see whenever you search for adult diapers. And then, and then you're at work in the safe for work zone, and pow, the Depends ad comes up, and everybody knows. Yeah. That no, we don't do that. We don't do that. Don't worry about it. But you can see your... Your... Your your impressions and your click throughs and that it also depends on your banner but i'm looking at a lot of the stats and it's like 30,000 uh, page views 3,000 click throughs is a normal that's unheard of in advertising indeed try try softserve.hch.net you'll be happy so we're pretty much just shilling soft serve in this video like i said we don't really know how to do a press conference about the lawsuit stuff as far as it goes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a Tagalog phrase: "Gawa Hindi Salita." Deeds, not words. It's a, I'm not a thief. I've been helping people out. It's like old style internet here, where, hey, pass me a Cat Five cord and let's hook up a peering session. That that's the kind of people we are. Okay, someone asked me today, are we selling information to the NSA? No, we're not selling information to the NSA. However, at your ISP level above where, where all of the internet traffic travels down, all of the internet superhighway, like at the uh, Comcast or what is it, AT&T is Comcast, now... Verizon, all, all of these guys do have the sniffing software installed. How do I know? We used to have it installed like about 12 years ago when the government mandated it. They paid us for like the rack space, but they took all that equipment out. Was that after September 11? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They took all of that equipment out because they don't need it at the low level anymore because every 18 month things improve. So they can scan every packet, every 32 bits of information that goes in and out of the United States at every level and they can store it for I don't know how long they're storing it for and they can process the big data I, I, so yeah, what do you think that you, get, your, get yourself an aluminum tent if you're doing something really bad and you don't want anybody to know about it but there's no low level ISP like ours that's getting any money from the government for doing anything it's, it's all your buddies like your telephone company that do get money for that so so chill on chilling me on that and keck and all that shit. Keck indeed. So you can see February of 2014 when all of that drama went down with Hotolink and them and all of that. It was at its lowest point that it had ever been in years. And, you know, under Jim's leadership, he's brought it back up from... Just all the I drama. Rank 22 in Japan right now. Yes, rank 22 according to Alexa. But it's important to note that most of the traffic to 2CH comes from dedicated browsers, which don't have like Alexa installed. Um, they're phone browsers, so it would be impossible for Alexa to track that kind of data because they're raw HTTP requests that go over. I don't know. It's complicated. He knows how it works. Tom sort of knows how it works. Yeah, yeah, but you don't do it in like Firefox. You do it in like a special browser on your phone. Like 8chan has one, although nobody really uses it. Uh, it's called... Alexa works well in Internet Explorer. Yeah, exactly. 
But it would be like trying to track all the users of that Exodus Android app using Alexa. Alexa doesn't know who they are because Alexa can only track where the Alexa toolbar is installed. So even without 90% of the traffic which goes through the mobile apps, it's still ranked 22. And it has gone from its lowest point in February up to one of the highest now. Two Channel got 3 million posts yesterday. Isn't that right, Jim? Yeah, yeah they're about. Um, oh, we, we're, aver- we're averaging about between 15 and 16 million unique visitors a day and 100 million page views. Yeah. The, the posting and is between 2 and 3 million daily. So as you guys know, people really tend to vote with their feet. And actually, we've seen tremendous growth with two channels. The users are happier now with Knee Channel because, you know, we we are not like sponsoring the firefighters. Um, they they have this thing called Firefighter that they used to do, and they still try to do, but we block them all the time. Where they would, whenever you talk about a special company that paid money, that company's comments if they were not nice for that company would be buried just like uh like the thread disappearing but threads don't disappear anymore and we don't bury bury things we don't do that that's bad that was the firefighting there's also like private companies that do what's called vandalism landfill and uh mango manju has has done a lot to improve that system we still have a problem on the akb board but you know akb everyone's like they either love them or hate them i love them they're beautiful ladies um those are those are big things that have changed lately we don't have those systems anymore and every everything that was behind the scenes that was grabbing people's user information has been removed and destroyed, deleted, and reformatted. So, you know, I don't know how many of our users were around back in September 2014. Uh, I assume, you know, sites like ours tend to have like a turnover. You know, people get busy and they leave and maybe they'll come back in a year. You know how it is. But uh, I feel like the current crop of users, a lot of them were not around during the time pre-gym and during the time pre-NT technology, which was, well, the first part of it was pre-October 2014 and the second part was pre-January 2015. There were two different mergers. So in October 2014, uh, the site, as you may have remembered, kept going down because we would either get in trouble with our ISP, kept happening, or we would get in trouble like we would go over our bandwidth limit or it was just really hard to find an ISP that would work with HN and not keep bringing it down and saying, you know, we don't want to host this because it's causing us to get a lot of abuse email. We just don't want to deal with it, you know, go to some other ISP. And I, that happened to us like five times. The companies were the first one that HN like started out as like before, like when it was only being used by like 20 people was RAM node. And then RAM node, you know, they almost immediately kicked us off. So then I started using this French company. It was a uh, shit. Internet.fr, I think. It, it, Internet.bs, wasn't it? No, there was the hosting company was Internet.fr, and the registrar was Internet.bs. They might have been working. Internet.fu. Fr France, F-R. yeah. And like the hosting panel was in French too. That was interesting. I I could also have the domain wrong. I might have to look into my you know, history records, but we were using them for a time and then that didn't work out. And then I put it on OVH at the recommendation of, you know, a friend of mine who lives in Poland and that didn't work out. And then um, I just kind of bounced it in between different free hosts. I don't even remember their names anymore. There were two other ones, but they only lasted like 12 hours each. And then I saw the email from Mr. Jim and his uh, associate, so... That was when, you know, I figured if I didn't switch, all the drama that was happening back then with Gamergate and 4chan was just going to be, you know, ended. And by the time I would find an ISP other than him, it would be way too late. So I decided, okay, let's see how it goes. Move all the data over to NT Technology. I'll still have the domain, you know, 
So if it's a problem, I just shut it off. Try another ISP. What happened to the domain? Yeah, the domain was in January 2015. Internet.bs. Uh, they, okay, they emailed me. They told me they got a lot of email and that they didn't like, you know, the content on the site. And so they took it down and then like, they seized the domain. They changed the name servers. That's really all a registrar can do. They don't control the servers. So they changed the name servers so that anytime anybody went to 8chan, they got like the ads that were being run by internet.bs's other company, which does their landing pages. Like they turned 8chan into a landing page for jailbait porn. I have a screenshot of it from back then. It was really weird. And you know, we used a workaround. We used 8ch.net and I had a lawyer contact, um, internet.bs and try to get the domain back from them but that you know we eventually did get it it was like 48 hours later which you know in the grand scheme of things 48 hours ain't so long but by the time that happened uh ach.net had already really stuck and i had talked to the lawyer and also uh mr orenheimer i don't know if i said his name right weave you might know him as he's like i don't know how to pronounce his name but um, he told me that it would be a lot better idea to use a .com, .org, or .net domain because those domains are controlled by VeriSign and they have better property rights. He said that, you know, the next step for anyone that wants to take down the site is going to be to, you know, just go to Columbia and bribe somebody. So at that point, I decided, okay, you know, .co isn't really that professional of a domain. I had it for, you know, over a year, but it's all right. I'll retire and then that's how, you know, ACH.net was used. And I wouldn't have done that if I hadn't been shown in the months of October, November, December, and January that Jim was completely trustworthy and that I didn't need to worry about, you know, him doing anything with the domain. I have no plans to do anything with the domain except for it to be a channel. Exactly. So thank you for all your support, everybody, from Jim and I. Frederick and I. Frederick and I, Jim and I. From all of us here at NT Technology, including Mochi. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Say that louder. Paki Lakasan Mo. Thank you. Carry the water. Remove the water from the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> what the fuck? How's that? Zige? Ziguro or Zigurado? They're different, you know. One yeah. means maybe, one means yes. For sure. Yeah. Be careful. And, and I know where that one jerk is from that's saying gotcha and you betcha. You know, that's like a geo target in itself, dude. Is it? Yeah. You betcha. He's from Wisconsin. <laughs> where the fuck? Fucking cheese head. Yo, there's nothing wrong with cheese. I know. <laughs> You when like I was cheese? a kid, yeah. When cheese. I was a kid, I always wanted to go to Wisconsin. I, I love Wisconsin. They have like you would be so much fun at Wisconsin Dells. Yes. We'll take you on the whitewater rafting trip. No, I'll die like a plastic ball. Wrap you in like yeah, styrofoam. A styrofoam ball. That sounds fun. And a helmet. Are you getting this? A helmet um, and a styrofoam ball. <laughs> can never be too safe. That's how it goes. They don't have many helmet children. Yeah, you know, they uh, they Did must they, have fixed what was causing that. I think that um, it was fixed by abortion rights. Yeah, I think so too. Well, when I'm my old school, we only had a few, and it was because of seizures. We had a lot of helmet children when I was a kid. Yeah, we only and had... I really feel bad because we used to tease them. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. He's apologizing on behalf of everyone who has ever teased a helmet child. So if you are now an adult helmet child, we are apologizing to you. I wouldn't uh. do it now. But when I was eight, I'm sorry. Especially the one at the airfare. I'm sorry about that. The airfare? Yeah. Okay. I tackled it. He had a helmet. Is that the worst thing you've ever done, Jim? It was a football helmet. No, that's not the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> Speak into the mic.
crazy I'm crazy for loving you I'm crazy for crying I'm crazy for trying and crazy for loving you If you put that on the boards, they're going to start a conspiracy about you only keeping me around because you're doing gay so. Any traffic is good traffic. Any traffic is good, I guess. Very good. Oh, perfect. Whoa, cool. What's that? Extra. Actually, this is a ring light for your phone. So you can... <laughs> That's a glow in the dark cock ring. <laughs> Love it. We all have just different interpretations. Ink a pink, a bottle of ink, one fell down, and you stink. Come on, Jim. We have to make a serious video. That's what I said. Okay. I'm still sticking I, to it. I asked for a script. I'm just a patsy. Okay. I want. Why don't you talk about the history what? of NT Tech? That's what I would like. To talk about how you opened it, why you opened it, what you used to do back then. Uh, you know, like how it started. You can even say it started as a porn site. I know how it started. Actually, NC Technologies' original name was the Asian Bikini Bar. Yeah. You told me this great story one yeah, time about you being in, like, Seattle. We were originally incorporated AsianBikini.com, but it didn't go over well with the wives. <laughs> so when I get the credit card saying it says Asian Bikini, I said, what is this? So we changed the name to NT Technology. Does the NT stand for anything? No. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> but after a while, we thought Microsoft was copying us and it used to log into Windows NT as they built on NT Technology. Yeah. But we started out as a video streaming company and we had one of the largest uh, video streaming uh, adult websites in the world for a while. But it was all done with the VDO codec, which uh, Microsoft bought and they incorporated the video player into their Windows Media Player. And of course they deleted the codec from Earth. You can't find the VDO codec anywhere. So a lot of videos that just are not playable anymore unless you have a, a really old Windows 95 <laughs> computer that has never been updated. And you couldn't re-encode them back then? I guess well, not without paying Microsoft. The, we lost the codec as well. Oh. <laughs> and so that almost put us out of business. <laughs> 